Howdy, howdy, folks. Howdy, howdy. Um, thanks for joining me on this edition of Travel Talk. I am heading into town today. It is uh, Wednesday. And uh, I am going to the dentist to get this crown put on. And let me tell you what. This has been such trouble since they did the uh, temporary. It's just been painful. Um, hot and cold. Never was painful before, but um, you know when they file it down, they they make it thin, and I guess things are exposed to where the hot and cold um, is painful. I never ha experienced that before, but boy howdy, I've been living on Tylenol and ibuprofen. <laughs> And I am sure hoping that um, that once that crown gets put on, that nonsense stops because I don't do pain, especially mouth pain, very well. Um, it's it's awful so anyways i'm gonna go into town today get that taken care of i've got hampton with me he's gonna get a little grooming done and uh so i figured we'd just sit and have a nice uh travel talk see how everybody's doing i hope everybody's doing good um i uh i uh we're getting we're getting a lot done here at the house. Um, I'm wearing my new glasses. These are the um, prescription pair. And what do you guys think? I can see really good out of these um, near and far. So these are perfect for driving. Now at home, I do wear them at home, but it, I'm still getting used to the transition, uh, the transitions and um, it's kind of difficult for me at home. Uh, like I can see up close really good, but I'm just learning where to place my eyes and how to place my head. Um, but anyway, uh, what do you guys think? I like them. I only got one pair, uh, but uh, these, were, these were the best pair that I could find. I might order another pair that transition into the uh, not just the progressives but the uh, transitions into like for the Sun because I've got my eyes are sensitive to the Sun and um, it'd be nice not to have to switch on and off for driving because I plan on doing a lot of driving this this year uh, in that uh, beast of mine I can't wait to get out and about <clears throat> here it is January still but my thoughts and dreams are look are <laughs> looking ahead <laughs> for some uh, travel time. I am really looking forward to that. Um, so I hope all is well with you folks. I really enjoyed our live yesterday. It was great. Everybody was engaged, and I felt like. Uh, it was a good live and if you didn't see if you weren't there at that live and you can go back to that last video that I did of the live and you can catch up uh, on what we were talking about um, so what I uh, I have been filming in uh, fast speed uh, uh, what is that called that's uh, um, time-lapse Yes, I've been filming in time lapse in my backyard because I put out a a, uh, a bird block to feed the birds this winter and to attract them because I love looking at birds. I, you know, birds bird watching is uh, fascinating for me. I love looking at the different kind of birds and and everything. And I did that in Arizona a lot. We had a lot of different birds come around every spring. You know, they were just just passing through right 
they were migrating and um, I saw some really beautiful beautiful birds uh, because I fed them and attracted them and, you know I like to watch them so I'm doing the same thing here but this time I just put out a bird block in Arizona I would feed them every morning uh, go out there and um, spread the bird seed and sit and watch but here I decided I just because I've got so much going on now and uh, I'm not going outside every single morning um, as early as the birds because they're early birds <laughs> yeah that's where that's where the old saying comes from early birds <laughs> early birds catches the worm well they come early and then they kind of you know hide away during the day and then the evening they come back in the before dark and so I've been uh, filming the time-lapse trying to catch uh, the birds the different types of birds and boy howdy I'm gonna um, show that to you guys here in just a little bit and I've got some beautiful birds here on this property most uh, recognizable is the uh, red cardinal oh my gosh they're so pretty now we didn't I didn't see too many of those in Arizona N none if any I, I don't think I ever saw a car now we do have them there but um, we uh, these are so beautiful these cardinals these red cardinals and then there's a whole bunch of other birds that uh, come along so I'm going to show those to you and um, hey if you uh, know the the bird what what type of bird it is uh, that we're looking at let me know um, I'm gonna get me a uh, oh, I'm not gonna get but I'm gonna look it up on the internet and maybe print it out a uh, backyard birds of um, Arkansas I had one for um, Arizona and Kylie and I we spotted just about every single one uh, that was on that paper of the backyard birds um, it's amazing how far they fly because we were you know we were rural and um, yeah they come passing through and uh, it was really cool to sit and watch them so I'm gonna learn my Arkansas birds I'd like to know their names what kind they are and if you guys can help me out when you watch this time-lapse and see the different birds if you see anything um, special or out of the ordinary or one that is I clearly identifiable let me know let me know in the in the comments uh, I'd love to hear their names and um, go from there yeah I'm hoping I'm hoping now my pond uh, of course you know this is all future work but I don't know if I've mentioned to you but before our pond that we have I want to dig it out make it bigger and deeper and uh, maybe wider and um, I would love to be able to attract uh, some waterfowl um, maybe even start out with some you know get a couple of ducks put them in there a couple of geese put them over there make a little habitat for them to hang out and then maybe attract some other ones not for hunting but of course it, it would come in handy if I was ever hungry right we were ever hungry had to hunt sure um, but uh, not so much for the hunting but for the viewing and watching them flying in and get some water or hang around I'm gonna have to do a lot of research because I don't know uh, exactly what kind of I know the water will attract them but are there special bushes are there s certain trees uh, things like that uh, plant life that I can grow that will also attract them um, I know it'll attract uh, the frogs because the frogs are already there and uh, we can hear them but yeah so I've got some plans like that and I'm feeling pretty good guys I'm all better and I'm feeling pretty strong back at it and uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend to see my Donnie Pooh is her birthday weekend coming up and Donnie Pooh I can't wait to see you um, 
celebrate a little bit of birthday and she's going to take Kylie. Uh, Kylie's got a dance coming up that she wants to go to. And because I've taken her shopping so many times for dresses and dances and stuff, she says, I'd like to have Dawn take me this time. So I said, okay. Uh, so that'll be a good bonding time with them. And no hoochie mama uh, dresses Donnie. <laughs> Don't let her talk you into anything like that, which I know she won't. She's a good girl. But um, Connie does, you know, uh, enjoy going to these dances and making friends and stuff so I surely don't want to um, hinder that you know I've always if you want to go you can go let's get something new to wear I try and talk them into something that they've already got wear it into something that they've already got because Kylie loves dresses and she has a slew of them but you know she's a girly girl she likes to have a new dress but um, I'm hoping we used to shop at Ross so I'm hoping there's a Ross over in Fort Smith that they can go to because um, I told Kylie I'm not into spending a lot of money on a dress because most likely you're going to wear it once or twice maybe but she keeps them forever so who knows she may wear more than that um, and she's got very good taste uh, so hopefully there's a Ross where they can find something suitable and if not Dawn knows of uh, shopping outlets over there uh, that she's going to take her to so we'll see what they come up with um, of course I'll have to remind them before they leave no hoochie mama <laughs> oh Kylie Kylie she's she's so funny she's such a good girl so anyway um, that's what's coming up for the weekend and uh, Brittany, unfortunately, is going to be working that day, so she's not going to go with them. Now, Brittany's always been a tomboy. Uh, she's not a real girly girl like Kylie. Um, she does like to get dressed up if, on occasion if the mood, you know, hits her. But she is uh, the, the tomboyish type. And somebody said in the live yesterday, watching the, watching the um, previous videos that I put out about the those two, uh, Colin and, and Brittany, uh, in their projects. Somebody said, Brittany needs her own drill. <laughs> right. Well, actually, that is Georgia. That was Georgia's drill that they were using. And so technically, I guess it is Brittany's. So, uh, you know, it was her poppy's drill. But uh, having a second drill is not a bad idea <laughs> between those two. Uh, so they're learning. I'm proud of them. They're learning. They're learning how to do stuff, how to, uh, well, right, right now, hang, you know, hanging things on the walls. And um, they got more projects coming up. So that'll be, be looking forward to that. Um, Colin has a lot to learn. He's a city boy, born and raised, and he doesn't know much of anything about uh, rural living or doing things yourself um, I can I can instruct I know uh, my share but being able to do it is another thing so I can instruct and help out that way but I'm just not strong enough uh, anymore I used to do all that stuff but um, I'm just not strong enough anymore I don't trust myself anymore to be able to handle that kind of stuff and um, besides they need to learn and I told Colin just this morning you're gonna have your own place Colin you have to learn how to do these things and uh, you know that's just the bottom line you have to be able to do it uh, figure it out at least or attempt it or ask you know for advice if you don't know how to do it but uh, they're doing very well I'm, I'm very happy with them those two uh, they uh, basically are very respectful they don't they don't give me any grief Brittany and Colin don't give me any grief the only thing I can say is I wish they wouldn't be so um, 